Hi everyone and welcome to episode 5 of my Belgium FM14 career and it's now 2014 and we've got our first friendly of the year which is against our neighbours and rivals Holland and of course it's the World Cup year we're qualified, I need to show you the group um, yeah, it's a, a decent group actually we've got Bosnia, Paraguay and Iran, we really should qualify from that Iran and Paraguay aren't really that great anymore we should beat Iran and Bosnia probably our hardest challenge but we shall see but we should beat them as well so it should be a comfortable three wins but you never know and of course we've got this friendly today but I've set up three friendlies prior to the World Cup one against Scotland which will be at home and also against Peru at home I thought I'd face off against South American opposition and then when we get to Brazil we're going to play Corinthians the club team nine days before our first game against Bosnia and I think that should set, up as, set us up nicely we're suffering from a few injuries. Witzel's injured. Has is now injured for three months. He'll be back in time, just just back in time for the World Cup, which will hopefully mean um, he will be raring to go. Obviously, it's not ideal going into a competition having missed out on three months of football, but he might actually be fresher, and that might benefit us. We'll see. It can work either way. Witzel's also injured. Nangolin's injured for a long time. We've got quite a few injuries, but the good thing is now that they're injured now. It doesn't mean they're going to get injured in April and then miss the World Cup. Obviously, all of these players might, and you never know. Um, yeah, this uh, obviously we failed against England, so we really need to make up for it. We beat Austria, I forgot to show you the last game. We managed to beat them 2 1. Goal, two goals from Lukaku, who's not had a great club season, but he's done well in that game. Two goals, and we conceded towards the end. Um, but yeah, that made up for the 3 0 defeat. But still, it's not brilliant. We can't seem to keep clean. We haven't kept a clean sheet since we beat. I just realised we were playing Peru again. My first game was against Peru. Not that it matters, but <laughs> we're playing them again. See if they can get their own back. Yes, so let's get on with this game. This is the team I've gone with when I finally get to it. Oh, yeah, this is the World Cup. You can look at the groups if you want. England have Cameroon, Germany and Jamaica. Ooh, Germany. And France and Italy are in the same group. Anyway, I've gone with four at the back. The three at the back's not working. Um, it didn't work against Austria. I had to change it up. And I've decided to play Dembele and De Bruyne in the middle. We've got Witzel missing, Nangolin missing. I think Defoe's is missing as well. So I've pulled in a few youngsters. I'm playing this guy for the first time up front. Looks decent actually. Giving him a game, see if he can do anything special. Can only play 45 minutes though, so Benteke or Lukaku will come on at half time. Thorgan Hazard's in the team, because Eden Hazard's injured. I need I need at least one Hazard, don't I? And then uh, also this guy, he's only in 17, is that Man City? He looks incredible. Well, he's going to be incredible. Five star potential. Man City signed him, so he must be good. And also Bakele. A left winger who's 18 looks good very good potential as well there's a few other youngsters floating around that have really good potential but I haven't decided to put them in for this game I think there's another striker that's actually got better potential than the current one but this one's been playing for standard so I've decided to put him in and he has scored a few goals also it'd be nice if you could check out my second channel just do a bit of a plug there whilst we're setting up the game. I'm one subscriber away from 200 subscribers at the time of filming this. So, yeah, and there's quite a few videos on there for you to look at. I haven't uploaded since Christmas Eve because I've been busy over Christmas period, but there's lots of videos on there for you to check out and I will be uploading shortly. So, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun on that channel. A lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. So, let's start this game. There's not much else I can do. Change the tactics slightly. Let's beat our rivals. Company can only play half the game, as can Vertonghen. So those are two centre-backs. I wasn't sure whether to play Vertonghen centre-back or Vermeulen centre-back. So I've gone for Vermeulen at left-back and Vertonghen centre-back. But um, I may change that round. We'll, we'll see. Oh, what a run by Dembele. Then smashes it at Stecklenburg.
Okay, Fellaini on a yellow, we're ready. Just check that this is key highlights, yes. Uh, oh yeah, I really need to get on with <laughs> Emulator Messi. I apologise for not doing any of that. There's two more episodes to be done. It's just a question of holiday in it. I'll holiday overnight. Great run here. What a run. Easy catch for Courtois. But yeah, I, I'm sorry. I've just not had the motivation to just holiday, which seems silly really, but it just uses up a lot of processing power and I'm doing other things. So, yeah, I'll do it overnight and then we can get rid of that series and start another one at some point. Great block there by company. They do seem to be all over, over us at the moment. Schneider with the corner. Headed away by Vertonghen. Hmm. Anyway, nil nil still. But we need to push on in the second half. What should we say? And motivate them. Vermeulen's stre uh, <laughs> stressed for some reason. Okay, so we need to bring off Vertonghen and company. Vermeulen will go to centre back. And Van Dam will go on left back. And we need to bring off Bachuyi, who didn't really do anything, unfortunately. Lukaku or Benteke? Let's go for. Oh, we could play Lukaku on the wing. No, he can't play on the wing, can he? Can Benteke play on the wing? No. Can he play on that wing? Oh, I thought they could play on the wing. Maybe not. Okay, let's let's undo that. <laughs> I think I might bring Benteke on actually because he didn't play in the last game against England. I don't think I can't really remember. Mertens has to come off. He's not done much. Bring on Janujai. And then I think we've got two two subs left or one sub. Oh, we can't bring on Janujai. He's almost dead. Move Dembele. No, I move De Bruyne onto the wing. And I'm tempted to bring on my young 17-year-old for his debut. See if he can do anything special. There we go. Come on, guys. Throwing in a 17-year-old <laughs> into a game against Holland is, is a bit risky, but he's got such good potential. It'd be nice to him to get his debut out the way. He probably won't go to the World Cup, unless he really impresses, of course. I'll probably have to bring Zimbelli off as well. He's a bit tired. <coughs> Van Damme. Into Benteke. Here's our youngster. Uh, gives the ball away. That's not a good start from him. Come on, tackle him. Oh, good tackle, Elder World. Now get him again. Win it. Ugh. Come on, guys. They're just passing it around as I know. Robin. Schneider, oh, fantastic. Courtois, a sensational keeper. He really is. This is when he cocks up, isn't it? Good header away by Fellaini. Close him down. Oh, there we go. Perhaps I should go counter because we haven't really done anything. And we're going to go more direct. Pump ball into box. And get stuck in. There we go. So then we can, ah oh dear, our youngster's injured. No, that's not good. We bring on Thorgan Hazard for a second cap. So not a, not a very good debut for our seventeen-year-old. Uh, he is injury prone apparently, so that makes sense. Which would be a shame because he's got such good potential. We don't want it to get ruined by injury proneness. Come on, De Bruyne, you haven't done anything. Then again, I don't think he's really played for Chelsea, so he's... Oh, Van Boyten's injured now. I don't think I've got any subs left. One, two... One, two... Three. Oh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We can't really bring anyone on for him, though, can we? Ah, this guy. 
and then he can go to right back and Elder World can go to centre back. There we go. Simples. I think Van Boysen will go to the, the World Cup simply because of his experience. We need some experience in there. Obviously company is the captain, but be nice to have an old head in there. Looks like it's going to be nil nil, so I apologise for a boring game. But I think that's a decent result against Holland. I think we're quite evenly matched. And apparently it's unacceptable, but I'm going to say you were unlucky. And that should motivate them. Yep. And Dembele was man of the match. I thought he played well, just from the first highlight that we saw. So, even game, they had more possession. One more shot. But I'm, I'm reasonably happy with a draw. It's better than the England result. We should beat Scotland, Peru and Corinthians comfortably. <coughs> In fact, we should win all those games comfortably. Oh yeah, our European groups has been qualifying have been decided as well. I swear Poland and Ukraine are always together. And San Marino. All those three, they're always together. And Azerbaijan as well, I swear. This is like an England group, but for Belgium. England always get these teams. But it's, it's not that bad a group. But Poland and Ukraine will be tough. Iceland could be tough. But we should comfortably get through. But we'll focus on that once we've uh, hopefully won the World Cup. But we shall see. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. It's been a bit of a boring match, I'm afraid. But leave a like if you're looking forward to the World Cup. The next video, I think I will do one. I think I have to decide my team by this stage when I play Scotland. If so, then I'll do a video against Scotland. If not, I might just go up to the Bosnia game and then show you who I chose. But I'll, I'll decide. It's either going to be Scotland or Bosnia. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I shall see you in episode 6.